Hi, I'm Michelle and today I'm going to guide you through how to use Kegels during intimacy. Kegels need to be used in two different ways during intimacy. First, I'm going to describe how to use Kegels to maintain an erection. And then I'll guide you through how to use these exercises to delay ejaculation. The techniques we're about to discuss need to be combined with your regular Kegel exercises. If you're not sure about how to do the correct Kegel exercise technique, take a moment to watch my Kegel exercises for erectile dysfunction. It's linked up here as well as below. Now let's start with how to use your Kegels to have and maintain an erection. This information is based on scientific research into pelvic floor muscle training that successfully treated men with erectile dysfunction. An erection occurs when blood flows and becomes trapped inside the penis. There's two pelvic floor muscles responsible for having and maintaining an erection. Now, their fancy anatomical names are ischiocavenosis and bulbospongiosis. And you can see these two muscles here in the image above. When these muscles contract, they work together to make the penis become rigid and stay erect. Now, let's go through how to use muscles to keep the blood trapped. There's three important things you need to do. The first thing to do during arousal is to do your Kegel exercises at about 50% of your maximum possible strength. The correct Kegel technique involves drawing your penis inwards towards your body as if you're shortening it. Obviously, it's a good idea to practice these exercises at other times other than intimacy to make sure that your muscles are working strong and well. Now, it's also important to do your Kegels on and off in a slow, rhythmical manner to maintain an erection. In other words, try to contract and shorten your penis intermittently using a steady rhythm on and then off. The third and final important step to keeping an erection is to use slow movements during intimacy, not fast. Slow movements help you retain blood within your penis and they also increase the pressure that maintains your erection. So in summary, Kegels for an erection are medium strength in intensity, they're rhythmical in pace, which means doing them on and off in a slow, intermittent manner. Now we're going to discuss how to use Kegels to delay ejaculation. And this is slightly different to what we've just discussed so far. You can refer to this scientific reference here for more information and I'll also link it in the description below too. Now there's three things you need to do to delay ejaculation. First of all, pace your movement so that they're slow. Slow paced movements during intimacy will help you manage stimulation. Then, as soon as you feel the urge, pause and stop stimulation. Now, at the same time, contract, but this time using a strong Kegel exercise. Try to maintain this strong Kegel exercise, if you can, until the urge fades. So, in summary, you can see that there are two different ways for using Kegels during intimacy. One, during erection, your Kegel exercises are slow, medium strength, and rhythmical or on and off, on and off. And then two, to delay an ejaculation, your Kegel exercises should be maintained until the urge dissipates. If you have any questions or comments about these Kegel techniques, you can let me know in the comments below. And please help everyone by keeping comments mature and appropriate for this platform. I really hope this information helps you get the most benefit from your Kegel training and goes towards improving the quality of your life. Maybe you can give this video the thumbs up if it's helped you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.